How's it going everybody? Johnny Talk Sports here to bring in my week 7 NFL predictions. Week 6, pretty great week. 12-3 and three overall. We lost two close games this week and we got embarrassed by the Titans because I thought the Titans would beat the Ravens, but the Ravens just shut down the Titans last week. So week 7, let's kind of try to follow it up with another good week. Kind of get some good weeks going, let's kind of start a hot streak. So let's get started. First match, we got the Thursday night football game between the Denver Broncos and the Arizona Cardinals. And I'm going to take the Broncos in this one. I just think the Broncos and the Cardinals, both these teams, well, I just kind of just did a, maybe a flip a coin on this one. Because really there's no really advantage that either team has over the other. I mean, the Cardinals, they're not looking too good to begin the season. And they are currently at least shipping off some offers for... Patrick Peterson. So I think the Broncos will win this game. Although the Cardinals, they do seem to pull off some wins at home pretty well. But I just got to pick the Broncos this week. I just don't know why, but that's why I'm picking. Next, we have the Tennessee Titans versus the Los Angeles Chargers. The Titans are on a two game losing streak after starting the season 3 and 1. And I unfortunately think it's going to continue. I think the Chargers, they carry some momentum that they had last week. I told you they were going to look like a playoff contender. And all week they've been talking about the Chargers being a contender, a team to look out for. Sure, you can still look out for the Chargers, but they could disappoint you at the end of the season. But I think the Chargers win this week, and the Titans' losing streak continues. Next, we have the Buffalo Bills and the Indianapolis Colts. I'm going with the Indianapolis Colts because it was announced today that Josh Allen is already ruled out, and Nathan Peter will be the quarterback. We'll probably see A.J. McCarron play in this game, probably, because Peterman will probably stink it up. Although he could surprise us and throw a touchdown pass. But I honestly do think we're going to see A.J. McCarron in this game. So Colts win by a bunch. But the thing that we should be aware of, every time we thought Buffalo was a sure thing to lose, they've pulled out some upsets. A beating of the Vikings and a shocking win, a win against the Titans. So the Bills, maybe not sleep on them though, but I think the Colts will win this game. Next we've got the Cleveland Browns and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and I'm going to go with the Cleveland Browns. I know they had their worst game of the season last week, but they're kind of playing a much, well arguably, maybe less competition in Tampa Bay. Even though it's a road game for Cleveland, I still think they're going to come out with the win. I just feel like Tampa Bay should probably tank at this point. And plus, the Buccaneers did fire their defensive coordinator this week, Mike Smith. So, maybe they can find a new defensive coordinator, possibly, or a new defensive coach. But either way, I think Cleveland will win this matchup. It just seemed like the Browns players dropped a lot of passes. Duke Johnson needs to get some touch. No, Nick, excuse me, Nick Chubb should probably get some more touches this week. I got the Browns. Next, we got the Detroit Lions versus the Miami Dolphins. And this is kind of where I'm going to make a mistake this week. I'm going to pick the Lions. Last week, the Bears were upset by the Dolphins in overtime. Which, uh, we had a couple people in the comments section last week say that they were going with Miami. And they were correct this week. But that game between the Bears and Dolphins, that honestly went back and forth. It probably could have ended up in a draw, but just stuff happens, and maybe the Lions can beat the Dolphins this week, which I think this is the type of game where Stafford will come back in the fourth quarter, because there are a lot of times where Matthew Stafford comes back in the fourth quarter. And I think this is going to be one of those games. I've got the Lions getting the victory. Next we've got the Carolina Panthers and the Philadelphia Eagles, and I like the Eagles in this one. I think now the Eagles have that kind of went out of the way. They stopped their small losing streak. And I think now they're going to be tearing apart a couple games in a row. They could start storming off for three to four wins in a row. I think, they're, I think they'll start to develop a winning streak now. And plus the Panthers losing on the road last week to the Redskins. Really not a good combination for them. Going to another road game, going to a hostile environment in Philadelphia. I don't think it's going to end well for them. I'm taking the Eagles. Next, we got the New England Patriots and the Chicago Bears. 
And I'm going to go with the Patriots. I know Soldier Field's kind of a very tough place to play, but I don't think the Patriots come out of this game very easily. I see this being a kind of a game like last week where the Patriots have to win in the final two minutes or it results in a game-winning field goal. Sadly for the Bears fans, it's going to be a heartbreak yet again. I've got the Patriots winning by a small margin. Next you have the Houston Texans versus Jacksonville Jaguars. The Texans are shockingly on a three-game winning streak right now after starting the season 0-3. And, and the Jaguars, they're coming off two terrible losses, one to Kansas City and one where they just absolutely just got the crap beaten out of them. But I think now that Jacksonville returns home, I think they're going to feel the energy of that home crowd. And I think they're going to get back to their their quote-unquote winning ways. I've got Jacksonville. Next we've got the Minnesota Vikings and the New York Jets. I'm going to take the Vikings. Even though the Jets have won two in a row, I just feel like this Vikings team right now, I think it's starting to come together a little bit. They had that bad loss against the Bills, and they had the tie against Green Bay, but ever since then, the Vikings just have seemed to pull together these last couple of weeks. And I think it's going to continue, especially with Adam Thielen. is just staying hot, really staying hot for fantasy. So I got the Vikings pulling off this victory. Next, we've got the New Orleans Saints and the Baltimore Ravens, probably one of the best games of the week. The Saints are coming off a bye, and the Ravens are coming off Probably their best game defensively in a long time, if not their best game ever, with 11 sacks on Marcus Mariota last week. And I think the Ravens will win at home this week. I feel like this is going to be the quote-unquote upset pick of the week. I'm not really sure what the line is for this game, but I think the Ravens will win this matchup. I just think with this defense like the Ravens, I think their offense is going to have to generate some points. And I think they're... I think their defense and keep them into the game long enough. And I think Joe Flacco will surprise some people this week. In fact, don't be surprised if Flacco actually goes off in this game. Because I'm still not sold on that Saints defense yet. And I don't see any reason why anybody should be sold on them yet. I've got the Ravens. Next, we've got the Dallas Cowboys and the Washington Redskins. Cowboys are coming off a huge victory. Well... I think this is kind of a big confidence booster victory for the Cowboys, especially beating a team like Jacksonville, who was, if a couple things went differently in last year's AFC Championship game, they make it to the Super Bowl, and who even knows if they win it or not. And the Redskins are coming off a big win against the Carolina Panthers, but I'm going to pick the Cowboys. I just think the Cowboys, they just seem to have the Redskins number throughout the last couple of years. I think this is going to be a very close game. I think the Cowboys win it in a very close margin. I don't think it's going to be easy for the Cowboys, but I think they will get it done. Next, we've got the Los Angeles Rams and the San Francisco 49ers. The Rams are the only undefeated team left in the NFL, and I think they stay unbeaten this week. Despite the 49ers almost pulling off an upset against Green Bay on Monday Night Football with C.J. Beth at quarterback, they just seem to leave too much time for Aaron Rodgers. At least multiple times. And I think the Rams will stay undefeated. And it's going to set up an epic showdown between the Rams and Packers in Week 8. Next, we've got the Cincinnati Bengals and the Kansas City Chiefs. This is the Sunday Night Football game. And the Chiefs had their first loss the season to the New England Patriots. But they had some injuries on that team. Which, maybe if they play, maybe they win the game. Maybe that could... Could have been a preview of the AFC Championship game. Who really knows? But I think the Chiefs will come back, and I think they'll win this game. Especially the Bengals losing in a heartbreaking fashion last week to the Steelers in the waning seconds. I think that's probably still going to be in their head. Well, Actually, let me just rephrase this. Both of these teams are coming off heartbreaking losses. The Bengals to the Steelers in the waning seconds, and the Chiefs to the Patriots literally at the gun with a game-winning field goal. I'm still not really sold on that Chiefs defense. I still don't see a reason why everybody should be. But something you should be sold on, Pat Mahomes, who had a great second half in last season game against New England. And I think with the Chiefs being back in Arrowhead, especially on Sunday Night Football, I think it's going to cause problems for Andy Dalton in that, and that Bengals offense. 
I've got the Chiefs responding to last week's loss. And finally, the Monday Night Football game, the New York Giants versus the Atlanta Falcons. Last week's game for the Falcons, is that what they needed? And the Falcons could really use this game heading into the bye week next week. And I think the Falcons will get it done, despite not having a lot of players. So It seems like half of this Falcons team is injured right now. They placed Devonta Freeman on IR again. Well, I believe well, they placed him on IR this week. I thought he was on before. But Ito Smith, the backup running back right now, I think he has proven his worth here in Atlanta already. And the Falcons did make a blockbuster move. Well, I saw another Falcons fan thinking that Tevin Coleman should be traded somewhere for a second or third round pick. But I think it's kind of, they can't really afford to do that right now. they got to probably wait until either the offseason or at next season's trade deadline to deal one of the running backs. Because if Freeman was healthy, I would be all for it. But since Freeman's on the IR, I don't think they can afford to trade someone like Tevin Coleman. I know that Edo Smith has really earned his keep in Atlanta right now. But Freeman is injured, but I think Tevin Coleman and Edo Smith, those two running backs, I think they've played pretty solid for the Falcons so far. And I think they will be a huge reason why the Falcons do win this game. I've got the Falcons, but winning by a close margin, though. Because the Falcons, when they seem to win games, they never win them in dominating fashion. They seem to win them by one possession, and I don't see this being any different. In fact, I think they only win by three points. So those are my picks this week for Week 7. Just to review, my picks the Broncos, Chargers, Colts, Browns, Lions, Eagles, Patriots, Jaguars, Vikings, Ravens, Cowboys, Rams, Chiefs, and Falcons. Comment your picks down below. Comment your thought on my picks. Also like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time.